Good morning. Um, like two, three weeks since I've done a video. Honestly, we haven't done a lot. Today is Jackson's graduation. I'm sorry for like the double chin and everything else. I am still in bed. I would start um, the video like this. Um, the baby was just moving around a whole bunch. I was going to see if I can catch some movement. Get baby boy, I keep almost saying his name, <laughs> um, to move to see if we can get some movement because he just was being a little psycho in there. Down here, he's curled up in a ball down here. Oh, there's some right here. Hold on. Yeah, see, he doesn't... He doesn't like to move when I try. Um, but before I picked up the camera and got up and went to the bathroom, he was kicking like crazy. So, I'll keep trying every, uh... Once in a while, when he's starting to move again. Oh, there's some. He's over here. If I can get it one more time. Um, I got some movements. He's being super stubborn. He probably knows that he's being watched. Um, and my other alarm clock over there, Char, is awake. So, I'm gonna slowly get up. So, we just got done getting ready. Here we go. Um, walking downstairs to change booties. booties. And... I don't know why all the lights have to be off. Um, get everybody fed. So, I did Char's hair with her dress. And I did the same thing with Jade minus the bow because she's like bows. A little bit of sun. I did Jade's outfit. <laughs> uh, and I also had the kids. Well, I blew some balloon, balloons up for the kids. I can't talk. So, hopefully, it doesn't rain. This is weird. All right. So, I just put on Phineas and Fur. Just watch. Um, sadly, I changed back into more, uh, I don't know, comfy, conventional clothes due to the weather here. Um, his graduation got postponed till tomorrow. So, I'm currently right now at 10 o'clock because I'm hungry again. What? Go sit and watch with Bubby and Sissy. Mommy's making food. Go. You gotta go sit. 
Um, I am making, um, I bought these the other day. I ripped it, but they're boneless uh, pork ribs with Jack Daniels sauce. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and make some mashed potatoes to have for like an early lunch. He seems to kind of like it, but he's like, what is this? Why do they look like this? But anyway, his graduation got canceled today because of the um, weather with the rain and the thunderstorms and all of that stuff. So it's postponed till tomorrow. So tomorrow he'll have his graduation after Charlotte's nap um, to make this like a little bit of a vlog do a um like baby haul since i have everything minus his clothes which i should be getting next month when i get to go see my best friends so we'll see how i feel after i'm done making lunch and all of that stuff so my original plan for today's video was for it to be jackson's graduation that got postponed until tomorrow because of rain and all that stuff. So I'm going to do my baby haul video now, which there's some things I'll have to get up and grab because I forgot. I tried to put everything over here next to me so I wouldn't have to get up and get it. Except, except for the bigger items that obviously I can't pick up myself. I'll probably insert pictures of those. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and really quick grab the last couple of things because I'm looking at them right now and I see them and I know that I'm going to need it. So I'm pretty sure I have every, I'm pretty sure I have everything that I can show without getting pictures that I have on hand with the cart cover and a bathtub. So obviously when I get to that point, I will put pictures in here, but, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab what I have. So this is just gonna be like a baby haul newborn essential type thing. This is my fourth baby. So I obviously know what I like to use with my babies. I know what my babies like for the most part. Um, obviously they've all kind of been the same. None of them have really liked the bassinet type thing. We did have a rock and play with Jackson, Jade and Charlotte. But that has got recalled, so we had gotten rid of ours, and we had switched to, it's the Fisher Price something motion bassinet, and I'll put a picture up over here of what it is. We got that, that's in our hall closet. Um, the next thing on our list is a swing. My friends Brittany and Canberra got me a swing which also doubled as a bouncer and so we have that downstairs in the garage. I'll insert the picture of that right over here and Charlotte seemed to love it so I'm hoping that baby boy likes it. Um, the next thing, I'm trying to think of everything that I don't have on hand with. So the next thing that I have is a pack and play and it's also great go. It's got the little napper bassinet thing that's in it, the changing pad that is also all insert a picture of the one that we have here or one that is the same. Obviously, it's probably not the same. So with that, um, we've got the bassinet, we've got the swing that doubles as a bouncer, and we have the pack and play. Um, we also, my mom also got us a new bouncer for upstairs, mainly for showers, laundry, like any any sort of thing that needs to be dealt with upstairs will have that bouncer up here. So I will insert a picture of it over here. I think it's called the Injuity or whatever that brand is. Next thing that I do not have up here with me that is also in the garage in the box still is our car seat for baby boy. It is a Graco. If you can't tell already, I am a big Fisher Price Graco um, lover. That's what we've used throughout all of the kids. So it just made more sense to just stick with the brand that we enjoy and we like. Over here, it is a Graco next to our double stroller, which we've had for two years now, three years. The car seat doesn't match because they don't have the same color anymore. 
but it all connects to the same one so I've got and I put it downstairs when I got it just so I would remember to put it in the car when I put his car seat in there um, a new mirror because I'm still debating if I'm going to switch Charlotte to forward facing or keep her rear facing for a little bit after he's here so if I keep her rear facing uh, she has a mirror that I'm just gonna swap over to where her new seat is gonna be so the mirror that I got for him I don't remember the brand um, but I will post a picture of it over here it's just one of these big full-size mirrors that fits on the headrest in the back and the way that it clicks in the back is supposed to be more secure than like little velcro ones I'm trying to think um obviously when I get it I can do another video um the car seat cover I don't know if or not the car seat cover the um cart cover that my friend Canberra is giving me I will post a picture of the one that I think is what she has it was the same one that was on my registry so I took it off my registry um and uh, I have three different bathtubs anymore. The second one, um, Canberra is giving me, I will post a picture of it over here. It's just one of, um, I don't know, it, like the little net looking bathtubs for mom's um, bathtub. They're supposed to keep like track of the temperature and all of that other stuff, but I'll post a picture of the mom's one will be over here. So those are the, the next couple things unless I've completely forgot what I think for me are newborn essentials on top of what we have for him um, are all over here next to me hopefully fingers crossed um, the first thing since I was just talking about it with the car seat I have this car seat cover which is also a nursing cover for the car seat um, I don't know the brand oh canopy canopy culture couture whatever um so this is his nursing cover slash car seat cover for him um to put on his car seat just in case if he comes early or you know just in general it is a little sign on there when we're out which we probably won't be out all that much but it just tells you to stop from the germs and don't touch him type of deal. I got it obviously because of COVID going on and if it's still rapid or that's when the second stage hits. I'm prepared for <laughs> that. I also got on a carrier which has given me no issue. I had it, that was the first carrier that I had with Jackson and then I used it with both girls. Seems like this works good for us and my babies in the beginning super super like silly proof wrap and the baby enjoys it and it's the easiest wrap that I found to be able to nurse the baby which probably gonna be doing a whole bunch then obviously we have I've got baby wipes this is only a two-pack like I said I have some of the sample ones and I think I have another pack of like Huggies or something like that in there I also because Charlotte's still in diapers have Walmart or Target brand, I don't know what, of um, of wipes downstairs. So honestly, I'll have wipes. Review wipes are definitely an essential regardless um, if you have a baby or not. I think once you have a kid from ages newborn to like four, you should have baby wipes even after that. Sometimes they come in handy to clean stuff really good. I got these newborn Huggy special delivery because the design is freaking adorable. Um, but I know I needed a, another pack of newborn diapers just to be safe. Um, my friend Kara and Amanda, right before Amanda moved, um, got me a pack of the Pampers newborn, which are already in his um, dresser. So I, need, I know I needed to get a second pack. Honestly, I'll probably need to get like a bigger box. His theme, obviously he does not have a nursery in the house his nursery theme is um arctic animals so like seals polar bears walruses all of that and he has this little polar bear which his older brother gave him because we got it with one of the books mm. stuff um 
Now these, I never knew how easy these were, especially at nighttime until I had Charlotte. So in the hospital they give you these, either long sleeves or short sleeves, and they have the little mittens here so the baby doesn't scratch their face. Little t-shirt and it buttons over here. Just one little button, well two little buttons. And it just secures the baby in there a little bit better and it has a light top on there. When I have like skin to skin or if daddy's holding the baby and doesn't really want to do skin to skin, like it's just perfect. I have worn these little gowns. So it's just like a little sleep sack type thing except the bottom opens and you can scrunch it up and lift it up and change the baby. But if you have a lightweight one and then I also have a winter one, which is actually a sack or a pod, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have the opening, but it is a zipper with little bears. There's no little mittens on it because it's a bigger size. But I would say sleep sacks or gowns are definitely a really nice thing to have. That I would also suggest, obviously, um, baby socks. These are just little dinosaur ones I got right after I found out he was a boy. Um, and then just mittens. Yeah, the dinosaurs are my appetite. That yes, and then just these little mittens. I get them in zero to three months or zero to six months because they do stretch. So the baby's hand, if it gets bigger, it works. And I'm not saying that you guys need to go buy these things or you need these things for your child. This is what's worked for me all three times and more than likely will work this time. So they are binkies. My kids are big binky people um, besides Jackson. Jackson did not take binkies at all. But I have a whole bunch of different ones. Jade and Charlotte are really big fans of these ma'am binkies. So I have a couple ma'am binkies and then I also got, and I do this every single time, I get these Avent or Avent ones that just look like a nipple basically. Another, it was like a 2019-2020 like newborn essential type binky straps. So you don't lose your binky or anything like that. Thinking about it now with my fourth on the way and much more going on after I have him than would normally be happening, I went ahead and got a, um, a silicone, I think it is. Yeah, it's a silicone pacifier strap, so we can just strap it there and then you can strap it onto his outfit, or if he's in the car seat, strap it on the strap of the car seat, whichever you would want to strap it on to. My main reasoning for getting the pacifier strap was because Jackson will be, I'm assuming, starting school, um, if not right before, a little bit after we have him, depending on the go, a little bit more in the mornings and then the afternoon. It's mainly for when we're in the car so he doesn't lose it or and for like if we're going for a walk, taking Jackson to school, picking him up, whatever. So while he's strapped to me, his pacifier will be strapped to him or onto the wrap so I don't lose it. So the next thing are these. They are changing pad covers, waterproof pads. So is receiving blankets, which ultimately, if I think about it, going back to all of the kids, I got receiving blankets for all of them, and the only time that I ever used them was